Hey everyone, it's Jen from Lodo Family, and in this week for some grocery store news that may affect you, I wanted to discuss that Publix has now put giant signs and almost like billboard type, you know, signage all over the front of their stores and before you even get in the store that states that no pets are allowed in their store. Now, Publix has always had this policy, and even um, there's government regulations regarding pets and animals within like a grocery store or a food setting. Now, the part that is angering people is that Publix specifically states that only service animals are permitted within their store and specifically mention that support emotional support animals are not included and are not allowed on the premises. Now this has angered lots of people that have emotional support animals. Now, before you're really wondering why is this important? Well, one, if you bring your pet to the grocery store, two, if you have an emotional support animal, three, if you have a service dog, or four, if you're like me and pets in the grocery store gross you out, this is actually very important news. Now, before you get mad at me, I'm just going to show you what the difference is between a service dog and an emotional support animal. Okay, over here, a service dog will typically have a vest or some type of almost like warning to show that it is a dog on duty, that it is a, uh, this is a dog that is performing a job. And these dogs are literally specifically trained on certain tasks directly related to a disability. They may be able to spot low blood sugar, um, to be able to um, make people aware that their owner is having a seizure. Um, if they're blind, this would help, you know, a person get around the store. There's lots of spe very specific tasks that they're trained on. And a typical service dog can cost anywhere from fifteen dollars to $30,000. They also cannot be placed with inside a cart or a basket, even with a mat on them. They will always walk on their own. Now, an emotional support animal does provide companionship, relieve loneliness, and sometimes can help with um, things like depression, anxiety, mental health, and certain phobias. But they are not specifically trained to perform a specific task to assist somebody with a disability. And all that information actually came from the National Network for Americans with Disabilities Act website, which is ADATA.org. So let's cover real quick what your legal rights are. When you are in a grocery store with a dog, a grocery store employee can only ask you two questions regarding your animal, okay? They can ask you, is that dog a service animal required because of a disability, okay? The second thing is they can ask, what work or task does the dog been trained to perform, okay? They cannot ask you what your disability is. They cannot require medical documentation. Um, there's no special identification card or training documentation, or they cannot ask you to demonstrate the dog's ability. Now, don't take this as these are ways to get around it because if you are knowingly lying about what your dog can do, you can get in trouble. Now, a lot of people have gone on to say, well, what if I have a doctor's note that says I need my emotional support animal at all times? Does that make my ESA a service dog? And the answer is no, okay? It doesn't matter if you have a note or a prescription from a doctor that states that you have a disability and that you need an emotional support animal. It does not turn that animal into a service animal, okay? And that information is also straight from the Network for Americans with Disabilities Act website. Now I get it. The world has been a very rough place for the last couple years. So if you are one of those people that has issues going to the grocery store or needs support to go out in public, I get it. 
But one of the good things that came from the last few years is we now have way more accessibility options than we have ever had, especially at the grocery store. You can now have your groceries delivered directly to your home. You can do curbside pickup, meaning you can be in the car with your ESA and a employee of the grocery store will come out and bring your groceries to you. There's also, if your grocery store doesn't offer services like that, there's companies like DoorDash that will go to any grocery store for you and pick up your items. So those are all options. And I also have, I'm gonna put a link down below. Um, there's a lot of people that it's just exhausting to go to the grocery store. There is so many different triggers for people in grocery stores. So I'm gonna put a link below. Um, it's a whole article about why grocery shopping is so exhausting and it also gives tips and tricks to help with that. So if this is something that you are having a problem with and now you're not able to take your ESA to a grocery store, these may be able to help and assist you in being able to go to the grocery store without your ESA. Now I mentioned a little bit earlier that what questions that an employee can ask you about your animal and why it is not a good idea to lie. If you have an ESA in a store and an employee asks you and determines that it is not a true service animal, you will be asked to leave. If you refuse to leave, the store will call the police and have you either get a ticket or arrested for trespassing because that is what you're doing. If you take an animal knowingly to a location that does not allow animals except for service dogs, then you are trespassing. Now, please note, I have absolutely no problem whatsoever with a service dog being of service inside of a grocery store. I do have an issue with your brand new puppy or just your your pet going to the grocery store. Uh, there's a lot of people that have allergies. There are small children that are terrified of dogs and they're just not meant to be there. And it is a hygiene issue and I don't want animals around my produce and my, you know, what I'm going to buy. That's just my personal opinion. So to me, this is very important because not only is Publix taking a stand about this, but places like Walmart and Winn-Dixie have also stated they will start enforcing their policy as well to only allow service animals. ESAs are not included. And I'm going to also put a link down below to the Publix dog policy. And this is the same policy they've had for like 20 years. Um, actually, I think it's only eight years, but this hasn't changed. They're just now starting to enforce it. And this is because people have been doing this and have complete disregard. So they have to step in to do what is legally right. So my question to you though is, do you have an emotional support animal that you take to the grocery store? How is this going to affect you? And are you one of the people that are extremely upset and angered by this? Or are you someone like me who's actually very relieved that now we're not going to see, you know, anybody's dog or pets at the grocery store?